Welcome back to our second segment of Your Town and our focus on artivism, uh, how our art intersects with uh, our culture and our and our and, and and our activism in the community to to make it a, a better community. And uh, Jose Ortiz is here with me. Uh, we Jose was in our our initial yes. segment, which mm -hmm. was really fun to have and to learn about Hijos del Sol, which Jose is an artist and also the director of Hijos del Sol. Mm -hmm. That he founded an organization, a nonprofit that works with youth, and yes. we can talk more about that. We mm -hmm. we we just scratched the surface on that last uh -huh. time, but as we were ending our our segment uh, mm -hmm. um, and and kind of talking in the green room afterwards, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, Jose was telling me that he actually started mm -hmm. with art uh, with street art, yeah. which some folk call mm -hmm. graffiti, graffiti. Yeah. but uh, street art, which I absolutely am intrigued by. Mm -hmm. I I love the fact that. When you don't have a voice, uh, you still can claim a voice with this mm -hmm. art, and that's controversial. Uh, Could be. Uh, yes. And and so, talk to me about <laughs> when you first start. What what inspired you to do that? And mm -hmm. and then maybe the the second part of that question is any controversy you ran into over. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. How it happened? How it evolved? I don't know. It um it just naturally. I don't know. Um, I was very young. Ten years old, eleven. When I when I uh, living in um, in, a, in a credit home kind of thing situation, yeah. uh, being first timers in not even a first timer in the United States. It's I I, I did not. I had this this urge of drawing and painting and drawing what I saw, and it's it just it just it took it took uh, a turn. Of, like a habitual <laughs> kind of yeah. thing, you know. So I uh, did. You have so a mentor or other friends that you followed, or no? It was no, just actually, in the community. Yeah. It, it. I. I. I have this uh, love for for beautiful things. I guess I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's. I it think everything is. Yeah. It, everything is. You know, when you have when you love something so much, you just want to keep it in here. You want to. Yes. You want to do something with it, and. Um, so you know, I I think one thing led to another. I I didn't know very much of artists. I, I hadn't gotten to school much. I did um, attend school here, and um, they took me to uh, to uh, to museum, and that sort of just clicked on me. Yes, you know. at about eleven so, years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, about eleven years old. And so I'd, uh, I th I think it was the Legion of Honor back then, and mm -hmm. so the sculptures and the paintings they were so amazingly beautiful. So I. I, I wanted to repeat that. You know, I wanted to do something with that. Yeah. Um, so that's what inspired you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so you know, and then they they, they introduced me to a, a library. So I, I I began seeing books of the masters and people in who were painting and 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 creating things with their hands, and it was beautiful. I I, I fell in love. So I I began doing it at home. So, but I didn't have very much space. So I kept being bumping out. Being mm -hmm, bumped mm -hmm. out of the space. Uh, if I didn't, wasn't painting underneath the sofa <laughs> or somewhere, I was behind the sofa or underneath the bed or somewhere. I, I had to look for a place. Sometimes even in the bathroom, <laughs> uh, which wasn't such a great idea. No, but, he got um, in the way of the rest yeah, of the family. Yeah. Yeah. And they, uh, what are you doing in there? So yeah. I, I was creating <laughs> yes, pieces. Yes. Uh, I went onto the backyard once and I found it um, like it was natural. Mm -hmm. It was great, mm -hmm. so um, I began putting thing my drawings on surfaces. Mm -hmm. So I, I I went up to the streets and began seeing walls, and they were attracted, uh, they were attractive <laughs> walls. This would be a good space. So, yeah, <laughs> this would be a great space for <laughs> what I wanted to. Cause so you know, I I was doing, you know, like um, on canvas mm -hmm. paintings on canvases, and that was my school and. And I painted and painted on, until I couldn't paint it, it, that little piece anymore. The I scale. Wanted you wanted a bigger scale. Yeah, I wanted a bigger scale. So, so the wall and the backyard seemed to be uh, suitable. So I, I, I started painting. Wonderful. So I began seeing um, more and more of that in me. And I, I like the feel of, of, of a wall and what it can do. And I, I thought it was canvas. Right. In a way. For and you, it just was a, a natural progression. <laughs> yes, because I was writing on my pants, on my jackets, on most every surface. So back then it was called a writer, a wall writer. A wall writer. 
Yeah. Okay. So, so you know, I, we we have friends, and sometimes the the work was a little bit bigger than I was. So we mm -hmm. formed the crew, and we started painting on trains and, and anything we can. Wow, <laughs> that's that's fabulous. <laughs> it it was an adventure because I I found out that it was not. Um, along the lines of, <laughs> of being legal <laughs> after a while. So we had to hide, and right. it was one of those things. But it was, it was just a natural need yeah. for walls. And, and what we did mostly is um, we did our own studies. You know, it was not like we just went to that wall and mm -hmm. sprayed mm -hmm. on. That's what we called taggers back then. Okay, that would be a tagger. A tagger. They just come and tag it. Yeah, yeah. But you um, did original art. No, yes, we we, we took we did uh, we selected a wall and we knew the spot. We we figured out the some dimensions, not a lot of dimensions. It was just by you know. By what were some of the images that you would put oh, out? It, it was a lot of um, what was happening back then. It's it's, it's um, you have a title, mm -hmm. you have a, a crew. And so the crew becomes a little bit important on what it is that you feel. You want to, you want to be hip. You want to be like real modern, and right. and you want these whole things. You, you want cars. You want, you want city life. You want all these stuff that you see on television. So we, we we started doing um, pieces of that sort and names. A lot of names. A lot of um, recognitions. We did our our. IP uh, rips, RIPs, mm -hmm. when somebody was deceased, or, you know, any, anything that seemed interesting to us, uh, interesting to us. So, um, video, a lot of video activity, a lot of video game. Okay. So, so there, th just try to put out what we enjoyed during that time, right? And put it on 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 a bigger scale, so yes. where we want to see. Yes. And so now I'm sure that in that process, mm -hmm. there were people that would lean into that and say, wow, uh, uh, yes. look at you expressing your ex yourself. And then um, there are others would, that would be, oh my gosh, you're over here on property that's not yours putting something up. Mm -hmm. So you've probably got some great stories to tell about that. <laughs> okay. Share, share uh, yes. one on the positive and one on the more uh, <laughs> dicey side, if you would. All oh, right, I, I I never got that. That's that's, that's this is what. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, there were there were some dangers. Uh, there were some, uh, you know, there were some walls who who uh, that required a little bit more uh, strategic planning. But we didn't. <laughs> we didn't. We, we, what I was thirteen. Yeah, 14. yeah, yeah. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, Anyhow, that's right. So so you know we we took challenges. Um, and some of the walls were huge, so how do we climb? How do we mm -hmm. how do we get there? And yeah. How do we, you know, it's it's it's, it's <coughs> a whole situation, and it's um, and at what time of the day? Mm -hmm. So or night, evening. Or night. So a lot of times it was about what two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. When it hits you real good, <laughs> you gotta get it. You, you yeah. gotta get it done. Otherwise, yeah. you know. So so it's just, you know the positive thing about. I, I don't want to say positive, but the, the um, favorable moments mm -hmm, were mm -hmm. seeing our pieces in the morning. Mm, with the sunlight on them. Yes, because we did them on mostly on uh, really What, did you use lights. flashlights? Or? Yeah, we used flashlights. We used some, um, at one point we even carried uh, what are those uh, uh, construction kind of lamps. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know where we got the electricity. I can't recall it, but we 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 mm -hmm. did. We got our stuff. Did you ever have to hightail it? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I, th there was so many things going on. I was I was just the lead illustrator. Yeah. And I was the uh, I was the one that created the imagery and, and organized and, the crew. Yes, and somehow get the paints because they wouldn't yeah. sell it. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> they wouldn't so, sell it that well, so we would get someone else to get it for us. So uh, you know, there was a whole so, yeah, yeah. So it's an organization. <laughs> yes, and we formed. Yeah, actually, it's a company. You know, so yeah, yeah. so somehow we we labeled ourselves and we began, you know, uh, putting them up on walls and photographed that the mm -hmm. next morning. It was very rewarding. Very and, rewarding. And, it and, and the trick was which one would last longer than the other. Okay, so did yeah. you have people in the community that mm -hmm. would say something good about your art but not know that you did it? 
right? Yes, you yes, know, yes, because you're, moments. yeah, you're. Uh, they, they are, we, we even, you know, friends, yes. uh, people that were going to school, you know, our Look at this, yeah. Yeah, oh, they were talking about this great <laughs> burner that was, they would call it burner or, or yeah, match yeah. piece, an MP, they would call it MP. And, and they thought it was it was fresh, it was cool, it was nice. Yeah. So and you had to kind of lay low. <laughs> yes, no, you couldn't, you couldn't <laughs> reveal yourself. That's <laughs> wonderful. Because uh, it, it was uh, definitely, um, it wouldn't, it had consequences. You didn't want that out. No. Yeah, yeah you didn't want that No, but out. it was it was my school. Uh, there were my teachers. Uh, yeah. those, those moments wow. were, the, those walls were. I didn't know I was getting prepared for some other things. And after a while, spray became yeah. a brush and... Yes. So the brush then did its thing. And, and, and your and your vision of the world expanded and of humanity. Oh yes, of yes, course, yes. as you go along. So with that, let's put up let's put up a a, a shot of mm -hmm. of one of your okay. your current more recent works that certainly is informed by street art. Okay. Yeah. So you look at this. Uh, please talk us through this work. Uh, this is you know now now, now we're bringing it into the schools uh, into the school system and it, with this. Youth and, and and there's teachers and there's walls are important. I think they're they're significant. I, mural comes from a world a word called in in Latin America or Spanish it's called muralla. Okay. A muralla is like the, the the Great Wall of China. Okay. You know the really important walls where community gathers. Okay. And um, so I I thought more that. Of that, I wanted to inform myself what it was that mm -hmm. I was doing, and I, I met the work of Diego Rivera on an old book somebody gave me, and a friend of mine gave me a, a book that he was throwing away, but he donated it to me. And Diego Rivera, I have never wow. seen his work. Wow! I was 16, 17, and it was amazing. I had seen Michelangelo's in Sixteenth yes. Chapel. And I yes, I fell to my feet knees with that yes. piece, but i never seen someone that came from where I come from. And, and, and him reflecting back yeah. your work to you, yeah. that you were already doing on your own. Yes. Because I'll have to say, when I looked through your your album of, of work, that uh, I, I thought of Diego Rivera. And, uh, okay. and I'm you. like, this is uh, not his work, but it's reminiscent of it. Oh. And yet, Thank you. you uh, and so, and the humanity, and and the social commentary. Maybe we could take a look at another, another piece uh, of of your of your work. Uh, look at the, the, these children and 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 the. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank the you. Emotional no, content. That was that was in commemoration of my mother, actually. This piece. This yeah. piece, and you know, th there's a lot of women who come, and they're single mothers, but they're mother and father, mm -hmm. and that was my mother. Yes. So one uh, one of the uh, this one came about a, doing a collaboration uh, pieces for um, for a Cornerstone, a theater company, who was uh, they were writing a play, and um, they wanted to project the working mother, right, in different stages. So this was my piece, and the other ones I even though I did design the project, other people painted it. Yeah. Um, but this was the centerpiece, and. Um, and, and it's all about these powerful women that can yes, the move mountains, and yes, just just yeah. for their children. Yes, and uh, that's for the community. Me. Yeah, because you know we, I, I like I don't want to say we. I, Here's another I, one I, along these lines of the powerful mother. Uh, yes, um, I painted this in honor of, of women because I believe that um, you know in my life women have stuck around. Yes. Uh, Men usually have left in a way, but um, I think I think that we're both we're both woman and man. Mm -hmm. I agree. And uh, we come from both parents. Yes. So I figure that if we we haven't done enough for women. Yes. Yet. So when it comes to portraying, or followed their lead enough. Yes. Thank you. I, yes. You know, I, I I think it's important that that we, you know, t uh, give honor, mm -hmm. where honors do and. Lovely. Mother Earth itself, you know. It's, yes. um, so to me, that's a representation of, of the whole mother idea. You know, talk you about this one that's coming up on the monitor right now. Oh okay, yeah, this one, this one is uh, was done for the for a, pr a specific purpose, and they wanted to celebrate the bicentennial. Okay. Uh, 
of of Mexican Revolution. You know? Yes. Uh, when they gave it to me, I, I thought of I thought of nature, of course, like mm -hmm. animals. And, yes. And how the bald eagle and, and and the and the golden eagle become together, become one, mm. become mm. one. I I thought that was their purpose. Yes. Yeah. That's why independence and revolutions and wars are fought. Because like, I think they want to unite people. I, I, I just don't know how to interpret it. Yeah, they, they want the best for their families. And yeah. So I figure like maybe we should do as the animals to come together. To come together. To come together and, and, and we coexist and everyone lives in harmony in a way. Yeah. Um, it's just a symbol. Yes. And I think that the North Eagle and the South Eagle become one. Come, to come together. Yeah, they what come a, together. What a wonderful composition well, okay. for Thank you. the revolution. Yeah, a coming together. Yeah, because it's and, and that, this is you in process here. My God, this is for Teatro Campesino. Okay. And and we were to help them with uh, with with the project. We also part of what we, what we do in our program is I, I like what I've learned. I like to give it back to. To our students, you know, that's, mm -hmm. that there's other, other activity you can do with your skill, and that's also creating scenic design and and projects like uh, Teatro Campesino is very very community oriented. Yeah. Oriented, so so why not help them and with our skill and and create pieces? So this we're, we we usually do collaborations, and this is one. This is that for the Maya. And then here you can just see the. The, the struggle, you know, uh, and the peace, mm -hmm. all in this, I think, yeah. Yeah, well, coming from Native American people in Mexico, it's, 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 it, we have, yeah, and, and, I, and, I, and I like to say the words, it's like a diaspora of, of the mm -hmm. people. It's, <coughs> we're still seeking, you know, that our place yeah. that has been interrupted in many different ways. For different ideas or different um, criteria, but um, but we're still here, you know. Mm -hmm. We're still here sharing the planet, and and I hope that people can someday notice that each other and learn that we're all significant. And th this picture in itself is for las posadas. Las posadas is a tradition in Mexico. Okay. So this is um, still seeking that room, you know, the the uh, what the uh, I said posadas in English is like, um, you know, it's, it's when Jewish would look knocking at the door for, a for, for for going into the inner room. Yes, a, a you know, piece of uh, they, yes. They're looking for a place. Yes, a place. Yes. The Exodus. Yeah. In the return. The ex yeah. yeah. So so yes. people are. You know, I think everyone is, but somehow we don't get it together. That's beautiful. It's well, um, we're we're tailing down on our time together. Okay. And once again, we just scratched the surface. So we're going to have to do this again sometime, okay. if you will, if you'd well, be kind you enough. Me, yes. I'll be glad um, to come back. And, and I want to just say that you see a young man take his art from the beginnings to where you're doing now. And it reminds me of something Picasso said. And it said uh, that a good artist borrows, but a great artist steals. <laughs> so with that, we'll leave it. All right. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. All right. Well, that was fun.